Hello and welcome back to BMG Drive and I have the new-ish Covet. Well, the Covet's not new, but it's the remaster of the Covet. And I am here at one of the missions on grid map V2. Because this is a pretty cool mission and I haven't really seen anyone mention it. I don't know when it was added, but it must be pretty recent because I didn't know about it. But no one ever talks about it. So what it says is, bring your own car into never any scenario. The question isn't whether your car will be wrecked, but when? How long can you last for? In a scenario, you'll have to keep avoiding the never ending flood of obstacles. Uh, I've done it a few times and I have all of the medals. But we can have a go at this with the Covert. And the Covert is definitely the wrong vehicle, but I've got to try it and see how well the wrong vehicle does. So it says some more information here. It basically just says there's some obstacles in the way, and as you can see, we have we have an unusual camera view. The camera also moves along just without caring about where my car is. It goes and it speeds up slowly. If I go off the edge of the screen, the timer counts down. And as you can see, there's a bunch of obstacles. There is also a uh, cannon, but there's also these green arrow things, and so you see. Those are the objectives to give you points. Like there's a ramp up here, and there's also coins. And I want, I want to take the ramp, but the caravan I've already rolled. Oh my, that's awful. We we've, we've already failed because I flipped the car. Okay, let's have another go with this because I don't normally roll it. The more points you get, the better metal you get. It says in the top left how many points I have. So I have zero. As I go along, I'll accumulate some. And if I do the objective things, I get more. <laughs> and there is cannon. Cannons are annoying. They just chew cannibals at you. But sometimes you have no choice but to push an obstacle out of the way. Because it is just randomly generated. The, there are various obstacles. Like the boxes of planks and boxes and pianos and cinder block walls and hay bales. And... The most annoying ones, which are the rocks. Come on, move. Go faster. Never mind, I can't see where I am. I, I failed again. Because this car is basically as bad as you can possibly get for this. Now I've upgraded to an off-road Roma. And this should do much better, because it's heavier and it has a... a full bar at the front. So out of all the obstacles, the wooden planks and crates are... Not much concern. They don't do much to you. The thing you have to watch out for is the rocks, because the rocks are very heavy and will do a lot of damage to your car, or at least they'll slow you down a, a lot. So you have to be very careful to not hit all the rocks. And I'm having a debate once. Oh, come on. Now I'm recording. I'm just messing up all, all the obvious things I should be able to do correctly. Let's, let's just give it one more go with the Roma. This is a terrible start. We've already had to drive through something. But we can we can knock down the cinder block walls. They're not much of a threat. I should probably go for more bonuses. Pianos you have to be careful about because of because of this. This is this is literally the problem with pianos. They get caught in your wheels. And now I'm stuck. And, and dead. Okay. This vehicle, uh, I thought I thought would have a chance. It normally does. If any normal vehicle can do it, it should be. It should be this. This is the D series beast, and as you can see, it is very big and has lots of things for ramming at the front, and it has many horsepower, and it should be fine. Also, the loading sounds are great. Like, you just hear random scraping, crunching, and crashing noises as you're loading. Don't know why, but you just do. You also gain points if you're near the top of the screen. But, of course, uh, you then hit things. Because you have much less time to react. So far, I've got very lucky with the piano. We don't eat a wheel. Yeah, pianos are dangerous. For the simple reason of they have too many little bits of wood that just get caught in you. But yes, cannons will shoot at you. Fortunately, that was a fairly glancing blow, right? It didn't completely destroy the whole front of my car. 
We've lost the radiator. We don't need it. We're not going that fast. <laughs> this thing can survive air cools. But yeah, the cannons only fire if you're actually in their path. But they can, they can be mean. And they will completely destroy your vehicle if they get a good hit on you. This is the only vehicle I've ever used that I to actually survive a hit from the cannon. Normally, that is with the death sentence. For the Cobbit, and probably the Roma as well, that would have just... that would have written them off. Oh, come on, no, no, don't do that. Drive through, it's fine. That actually was fine. I was not actually expecting it to be fine. Very much fine. Ah, the front right wheel is... No, front left wheel is broken. And that, yeah. We got a bronze though, which is better than the other vehicles. Time to take another step up in vehicle strength. I'm not sure whether this technically counts as an improvement, because I have... I've got the, the bus with a ramp plow, and not any bus, this is the gay bus, because Rainbow Bus Skin is a mod. I mean, why not? But hopefully we should have pushing power. We may not be the fastest, but we can just shove things. We only have like 500 horsepower and it weighs, it weighs a lot, but as you can see, we've managed to move a rock, so that's better than everything else. This bus is surprisingly strong. I haven't actually tested the bus, this is the first time I'm driving it, and it's doing far better than I was expecting. I'm just going to keep playing it incredibly risky, driving to the top of the screen, because I don't reckon much is going to, be able to actually do damage to me, other than like 5 rocks, okay, that's a, that's a bit too close to the top of the screen. I would like to actually see the front of the bus. Let me just get rid of this plank of wood that's stuck to the front. Oh, um, cannon. Cannon it did not like. And now I'm stuck on the rock as well. Come on. Right, let's restart. I thought we might be able to deflect the cannonball with the ram plow, and I think all we did was deflect it into the vehicle. But yeah, we can, we can nudge rocks out the way, but we can't push them for prolonged periods of time. Um, thanks game for letting me know there was a cannon. Oh, I rolled the cannon. That is, that is new. I've never rolled a cannon before. But yeah, the ram plow means that the majority of things are not a problem. You can also see in the top left, the underneath the coins, it has the speed. That just increases over time. The most I've ever seen now is like 21. It starts at 7, I think. It just gradually goes up. Um, I shouldn't have tried to take the jump with the bus. Okay, that's the downside of the bus. And I do not have the speed to catch back up to the zone. So it looks like we're going to have to try something a bit faster. Oh, the bus, the bus did make it. It just sort of crashed in at the end. If this can't do really well, I don't know what will. Because I have... I have a Gavril B series, which is a massive off-road truck based on the D series. Uh, this one has like 3,000 horsepower or something stupid. It, it's got pretty skinny tires at the back and all the weight on the front, so it doesn't drive like it should. But as you can see, um, nothing is a problem. It weighs quite a lot. Th those street lamps, you yeah, know, they just fall over. A ramp, you yeah, know, we just get the ramp out of the way. We don't have to take the ramp, we just, just push down the way. There is, there is a minor danger of losing wheels, but we have some to spare, so that's probably not a problem. Cannonball? Didn't even notice. Literally didn't even flinch. Don't need the coins, gonna get them anyway. These can just get flung out of the way. All I want is a football so I can demonstrate this thing's amazing footballing skills. Because it just it just makes it it just makes it go. Then send the footballs out of the map. Oh no, I didn't hit it hard enough. I need to, I need to get a bit further back so I can get more speed to hit the football with. Get the right angle. And then you can just you can just make it leave the area. Oh no, I hit the fence that time. <laughs> now I'm just messing around. Because I know this vehicle is ridiculously overpowered. Come on, ah, oh, nearly over, the, nearly over the containers. Oh, I mean, we can actually just push the containers. The, these containers 
are not much of a threat. Although the game does insist that we stay in the area. Oh, um, we were too slow. Okay, let's give that let's give that another go. Because I messed it up by trying to push containers. We can push the containers, just not all of them in a line. It is it is a bit drifty. Can't really see because we're going to fairly straight line. This thing just wants to fly every time I turn it. Okay, let's not shove the containers out of the way. We know what happened last time. We can just shove the ramp out of the way. What do you mean? How did I not open the gate? There is no gate. How do you get a more open gate than a gate that has just been deleted from existence? How are we still on bronze? I've got like loads of points. I can't remember how many I've got. I think gold requires you to have like 750 or something. And using this vehicle I've managed to get like over 2000 because this is completely overpowered. Can we get it out? Oh, ne nearly out of the area. Oh, but we do have to watch the speed, because although it has, like, 3,000 horsepower, it doesn't have the best acceleration, and sometimes it doesn't go fast enough. Cannonball to the face? It just bounced off. Oh, managed to go underneath the ball. I think my round plow is a little bit wonky and misshapen and isn't pushing things properly. See, this game mode is just so fun. I've not heard anyone talk about it. Oh, I nearly got that out of the area. Yeah. Like, there's all sorts of stuff covering recent updates. I mean, I don't watch a ridiculous amount of BMG content. Someone has probably mentioned it. And this is some of the most fun BMG gameplay I've had in a little while. You can go out of the... Really? How did it not exit the area? I think it despawned before it stopped. The coins sometimes are a bit weird, and just decide that you do not deserve them. Oh, no, gold is 450 points, and we're at uh, 750-something now. Yeah. Yeah, but rocks at this speed start being a problem, because I struggle to maintain enough speed, because the camera is now going at 20, so I have to keep up with that, and if I have to slow down for a rock like that, it can can put me in trouble. Like my acceleration is is not really enough to keep up with this. It would help if I didn't have with box welded front of the thing. There we go. You can just go out of the way. Cannon don't care. Oh um no do care. Weighs a lot. Yeah this is this is where we start to have difficulty. Yay I finally got a ball out in the area. Oh, that's a bit fast. That's now a bit slow. No, I got caught on it. Yeah, this is this is the problem you start having, that your really heavy vehicle that's good at pushing things starts being not fast enough to actually stay in the area. You just get annihilated. It's not counting me as opening the gate because I haven't actually gone through the little green arrow thing. So me just sideswiping it doesn't quite count. Look, I see epic destruction of thin blocks. Yeah, let's do a jump. That's not a good idea in this vehicle, like, ever. Especially when we're going at speed 20. It does appear that it's actually got a speed limit of 20. And I made it up earlier when I said it was going higher. Because I saw it going 20 in a testing. Oh no, it took out half my red tires. Might actually want to get some repair coins. But yeah, I saw it going up 20 earlier and then I knew that I continued on for a bit so I assumed that it kept going up. Oh no. No, 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 bad. No, no, this is, this is bad. I'm going to lose. Yeah, it's because I hit, I hit the cannon and that took so much speed. But anyway, that was many points, and that was kind of cheated, because this vehicle is insanely overpowered for this. But, it's still a really fun game mode, and I don't know why no one talks about it. Oh, and um, when we break, we just lift the entire back of the vehicle up because it's so front heavy. But thanks for watching, don't get distracted, subscribe now, and until next time, goodbye.